that day in my interview with a reporter from the Chinese newspaper, I was talking about BYD having this power train, which is a hybrid engine of a petrol engine plus a motor engine. And uh, on a single charge in a full tank, it's able to travel 2,000 km. So to put things in perspective, right, how far can you travel on a 2,000 km per hour? Think about from Singapore all the way to Bangkok, Thailand, Bangkok, on a single charge plus a full tank. Wow, that's a lot. So I'm going to take a look at BYD chart to see how investors are reacting to this piece of news and then how, you know, you could trade into BYD. Let's take a look into the weekly chart. Support is still at 170, where resistance is about 280, and then here was about 265. With this trend line, it shows that potentially BYD is now being resisted, but since the announcement of the new engine, the new hybrid engine, BYD has already moved up by about 17.8%, so it's not surprising to potentially find some profit taking here. If you have a look at the moving averages, which is 21 and 55, then during this price movement here, the moving averages flip downwards, that's become bearish. But with the announcement of the new engine, then priced is right now trading above the moving average, which I see that as a positive sign. Let's take a look at the daily chart. BYD has moved up since the announcement. And the moving averages, which would be 21 here and 55, they are offering a support zone. The previous round that they had a dividend distribution, BYD fell or supported, and then right now it's moving higher. So in a way, I would conclude that the short-term trend has reversed and probably it's near to a resistance. And one thing to take note is that there's... Inverted here and shoulder here, which is a bullish reversal pattern, seems to give us a good fair value of BYD at around 217 to 220. So 217 to 220 seems to be a support of BYD. I mean that if you were looking at some short-term weakness, as long as price can head towards this uh, short-term support region and not break through, that would be a good uh, location to consider BYD at near to some support level. Investors considering BYD needs to note that the minimum bot lot, which is each time when you buy right BYD, then the bot lot is five hundred shares minimum that means that you can't be buying 100 shares and then if you take a look at the byd price 500 shares multiplied by the stock price that might be too much of an investment for some then in this case if you still want to tap into byd as an opportunity then there are a few ways one is to look at the warrants and the other one is to go to so gen which is to look into um, the dlc's daily leverage certificates and lastly which is ubs that offers a dlc's and all these are priced in sing dollar that means you do not need to change uh to Hong Kong dollar. Again, that when you trade into these instruments, they are bearing certain amount of risk. So investors to take note that you need to understand whether you fit that risk profile in trading into these instruments. Well, I come to the end of this video, I want to make something that's short and sweet to give you some price levels of BYD as well as the fundamental reason of why I'm interested in this stock here. Share with me in the comment section what you think about BYD, what you think about the new engine and are you willing to consider buying that? But again, whether this piece of news will drive BYD higher to break that resistance line is still unknown.